This thing is incredible. I love this plugin. My name is Skylar Moans. I am a record producer, songwriter, recording engineer, mix engineer, and all around 100 percenter. As of lately, what's been really exciting is I produced on the Grammy Award winning album, Future Nostalgia. I helped on the title track. This has been life changing. Well, production and mixing in 2021 is kind of hand in hand. And so the way that I use Artoria is I will shape the sound as I'm going. I'll use the preamps to make sure the voice sounds good as is. I will show you how these work in a real situation as far as a session. So this is the vocal. I'm going to play it for you dry. That's the game. They should give herself a name before the flame ran out. Okay, cool, right? So vibes, all this cool stuff. Not a whole lot of highs or anything interesting going on in the vocal. Really need to peek that out and get that sounding cool. So the way that I personally EQ is I just overdo everything and then scale it back. That's the game. They should give herself a name before the flame ran out. That's the game. They should give herself a name before the flame ran out. That's the game. They should give herself a name before the flame ran out. So listen to that versus so this no EQ. That's the game. They should give herself a name versus this. That's the game. They should give herself a name. Basically, this makes it just pop out of the mix. Like, there's no question as a listener what I want you to focus on. I am 100% in my laptop now. I love being able to just have a very small interface, close my laptop, put my interface in my backpack, go to a studio. I can do anything off of that. I can produce, record everything. Okay, so this is an emulation of a 33609C. Well, I actually use presets on this one, by the way. Um, this is four to one. This is pretty good. That's the game. They should give herself a name. Presets are great, by the way, because, um, I mean, they're just easy. You know, making the song is hard enough. That's the game. They should give herself a name before the flame ran out. Being in the box like this, they give you more control so that you can get the characteristics of a piece of gear without having to be stuck to one emotion. And that's what they did with this. So the attack on this, on the original piece of gear was jumpy. It was very jumpy. So you would, you would always have a very fast attack and that was fixed. They added that and they even put a little fixed marker right here. Um, just to let you know that, hey, if you want it to sound like what we modeled it after, what we modeled it after, this is how you do it. But if you want to get, if you want to be a savage about it and start messing around yourself, you can play around with all these brand new settings. The thing that I like to find is like the beginner who maybe found like some weird plugin that's, you know, maybe not using it right, but or right, you know, there's really no right way to use any of this stuff, but, um, but he's or she's using it in a way that is so interesting. You know, it's just like they're doing something that's different with it. Um, I've run into that situation many times and that will spark a whole new thing. This is incredible. It just goes for what sounds good. Um, it's not based on, like I said, it's not based on any of the old technology. It's just based on creating whatever sound you want. Now, if you just hear the parts that I cut out that are just reverbing, it's just these. I don't want the, uh, like, I don't want that to get in the way of my lead. So what I did was I side chained it to the lead. And then, uh, so I put the compressor first and then the reverb. And, uh, and it sounds like this.
pretty cool. So, um, so you can do little things like that to basically, um, you know, just add, add little moments there in the record. And, uh, there you go. All cool stuff from our tour. Yeah.